joined today by Lee Carter, who's a cybersecurity product manager from Solutions PT. Morning, Chris. Morning, Lee. So the reason for the video, in the last couple of weeks, uh, or maybe a couple of months, I've seen an increased number of inquiries about data diodes. And I'm, I'm acutely aware that probably not everyone is familiar with data diodes as a security specialist such as yourself. So I've got a couple of questions I'd like to ask you, and hopefully the information and the answers you give us will be really useful information for other people who may be considering some data diodes for use in their networks. So we'll dive straight in. I've kind of got the, the first question of what actually is a data diode, Lee? Okay, so a data diode, it's a, it's a hardware device. Uh, it's generally called something along the lines of like a universal, sorry, unidirectional security gateway. Uh, and, and it's placed generally between two networks where you've got uh, a different security level uh, and you need to control the flow of information. Okay, so a nice, nice clear uh, answer then, it's a good definition. Mm. So why would you use a data diode? Uh, well, I mean, I mean, commonly you, you, you'll see more often than not, uh, people will be using demilitarized zones, uh, you know, DMZs. That's a, an intermediate network between IT and OT deployments, uh, and but those are, are bi-directional gateways. Uh, if, if it was being used in an IT environment, uh, you'd probably have VPN servers, web servers that sit behind it. Uh, in OT, we, sense, we tend to see things like secondary uh, historians or jump boxes or you know, some security solutions which are sitting inside the DMZ. Uh, but depending upon risk, you deploy a firewall and you normally do that because uh, virtually all platform vendors will uh, support that. Uh, but what you've got to remember with the firewall is that it's software. It does need patching from time to time. Uh, and sometimes our customers' risk tolerances, they're just a little too high for just having a firewall alone. So for that reason, then we, we strengthen that by putting in the data dynamic. Okay. It's an interesting one that you talk about firewalls there, because that was actually my next question, is what would be kind of the real world benefits of using a diode versus a, a kind of standard firewall? Okay, uh, so a diode, di sorry, a diode is different to uh, a firewall. So uh, a diode is actually, it's a hardware flow control device uh, and it's done by using a fiber optic cable. So one side will actually transmit, the other side will actually receive. So there is no way that the data can actually flow back. It can only ever travel in one direction. Excellent, okay. So I suppose the last one, have you kind of got any real world examples of where we've uh, deployed diodes for, for uh, clients, customers previously that you can share with us? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, we commonly see them uh, being used to transfer data from a low security zone, uh, in, sorry, from a high security zone to a low security zone. Uh, so generally that's for exporting things like SIEM information, transferring historical data uh, into a secondary historian. Uh, and, you know, that's generally located in the, uh, the DMZ or the, uh, the enterprise. Uh, we've had interest from customers who are looking to export data uh, through to uh, Wonderware Cloud Historian. Uh, but you can also use a data diode in the opposite direction as well. So you can import data diode from a low security zone to a high security zone. Uh, and in this context, you know, generally we would disassemble the data, take the transport out of it, we you know, get the payload, uh, we would look at it, deconstruct it, reconstruct it, uh, and just make sure it's clean of any malicious content before it's actually imported. Excellent. Super. Thanks, Lee. Um, I'm sure they know these, these people have probably got many other questions. So I'll, um, we'll wrap this video up at this point. But I say thank you very much for your time. Um, if you have watched this and you found it interesting or you, you might have a potential use case where you think a diode might be a better fit for your network than a firewall, uh, please feel free to get in touch via your normal channels. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have about them. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate that. Wonderful. Thank you, Chris. Cheers. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.